Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the last day of the month which means it is time for me to share a look at what I got in my P.O. box this month. I hope you'll stick around and see everybody's beautiful creations. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I like to stop by at the end of each month and share a look at the cards that I have received in my P.O. box. Sometimes these are cards just because, but a majority of them will be for the show us your sheet load feature. That is when subscribers send in cards that were inspired by a sheet load. Now it can be the current month or any past month. So today you'll probably see a variety of layouts. Now another way that you can show us your sheet load is on YouTube with a video or over on Instagram. And I have the show us your sheet load guidelines linked in the description box below if you ever want to test that out by either a YouTube video, Instagram post, or send in a card. And also I will have links to the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts for the August sheet load. You can just click on those search links below and go see what other viewers have created. Before I get into today's video, I did just want to let you know, and some of you might already from the community tab or being a channel member, but tomorrow the new Not Too Shabby kit is coming out and it contains the very first product that I have designed. So I am super excited to share the whole kit with you and share a look at what I designed to go in it. Up on screen now is a look at the card that I will be sharing tomorrow. Also tomorrow I will be back with the new sheet load of cards. I am super excited to share this with you and see what my team of collaborators has created. But for now, let's go ahead and see what came in my P.O. box. Terry R. from Massachusetts is our first card for today. She has used the August 2021 layout. I am loving the gold borders and the fun shape of the oval around her focal point. Gail O. from Australia has used May 2021 for her card today. I love those florals. And while I'm talking about Australia, I would like it if my international friends could let me know in the comment section below how they make the adjustments for A4 paper. I had a viewer reach out recently to see if I was ever going to make them for international papers and unfortunately right now that's not something I'm going to do. But I know that many of you do already adjust the dimensions or the layouts to fit your needs. So any tips you could give would be awesome. Thank you, Gail, for sending in your beautiful card. Sharon M. of Indiana sent in another August 2021 example. I am loving all of the stamped and die cut images on her focal point and how she made that envelope to match. Thank you, Sharon. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin also used August 2021, but for hers, she shifted the focal point a little to the left. Now, she also let me know on her note inside that she only used items from her stash for this card, no new products. And speaking of your stash, I was thinking in September to have a special shop your stash challenge where I would maybe stop by five to ten times during the month with a little challenge for you that you could only use things you already own. I have talked about this a little bit to my channel members, but I have got to stop spending. Like I was crazy this summer and I'm already into my October crafty budget. So I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to use what I already own and maybe you would like to join me. If you would, let me know in that comment section below. 
This August card from Sharon D. of Virginia has me wanting to go bake something. I'm not sure about you. Thank you so much, Sharon, for sending in a card. Jennifer D. from California used August for an autumn card. I'm not sure if she's ready also, but I know that I am definitely ready for some cooler temperatures. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Yvette O. from California made this stunning card. I am loving those bold colors with the black backgrounds. Thank you so much, Yvette. Kim B. of New Hampshire has used the August 2021 for some birthday cards for her employees. I just love that she does that. I also like how she has made the sheet load her own by removing the mats on the pattern papers and placing her sentiment in the lower right and some embellishments in the top left to balance it out. Thank you, Kim. Jan Yu from Texas had a new stamp set she wanted to use for some birthday cards and I am loving the play on words for the sentiment with that moon stamp and she has also created her own pattern papers for piece A and B. Thank you for sharing Jan. Jill B. from Maryland sent me this card just because she must know how much I like rainbows. On the inside was a very kind note and then over here on the right was a fun little extra that she added where you tore open that card and there was a little sentiment inside of it. Thank you so much Jill. Nikki of California has created a summer card using the August 2021 sheet load of cards. Even though I'm done with the heat, I do love the fun images and stickers on her card. Thank you so much, Nikki. Catherine C. from Canada is getting started on her Christmas cards with the August 2021 sheet load. The sentiment on hers is from one of my favorite holiday movies, Elf. I just love it and I say this quite a few times around Christmas. Thank you so much, Catherine. Seeing Catherine's Christmas card and the sentiment on the front made me think of a good QOTV or question of the video. I would like to know what your favorite holiday movie is, whether it's a winter holiday, a summer holiday, a spring holiday. Let me know in the comment section below. Now if you don't celebrate holidays, is there a movie that you enjoy watching multiple times? If you do answer it, please be sure to add the hashtag, hashtag QOTV in your answer so I know that you've answered it and would like me to see it. My number one favorite holiday movie is Elf, just like we talked about, but until that movie came along, it was definitely a Christmas story. Alana C. from Florida used the April 2021 sheet load of cards to create this mini slimline and matching envelope. I am loving all of the gold details and the dimension on the sentiment. Thank you, Alana. Christina M. of Illinois sent in two envelopes this month containing these five beautiful cards, but I especially like the one on the bottom. It's kind of like a flat card, a postcard. There's room on the back to write, and the little banner flag on the front opens up for another area to write. Thank you so much, Christina. Cheryl S. sent in two cards this month. Over on the right, she has used a paper pumpkin kit with the August 2021 sheet load. And then on the left, she has tweaked the June 2021 a little bit, and she decorated an envelope with stencils to match it. Thank you, Cheryl. Joan O. from Denmark sent in all of these beautiful cards that use the August 2021 sheet load as inspiration. I especially like how she has rotated the sketch for some of her cards, and each of her envelopes came decorated with a strip of pattern paper, and there's also a piece of pattern paper on the inside of each card. Thank you so much, Joan, for taking the time to create these and send them in. Trish D. from Ireland has used the July 2019, 2020, and 2021 sheet load of cards for this beautiful collection. Thank you so much, Trish, for taking the time to send these in and then resend them when they got returned to you. So sorry about that. C. 
Cynthia M. of Ohio said that she has been working through past issues of sheet load when she finishes the current month. And for the four cards she sent in this month, she used the first two sheet loads, June and July of 2019. Now, if you enjoy visiting old sheet loads, I do have a new series here on my channel called Sheet Load Rewind. I will link the playlist in the description box below. Lori K has been rewinding it back for some of the cards that she sent in for this month. The top and outer edges are past sheet loads and in the bottom center she has created a masculine card using the August 2021 sheet load of cards. Lori, I just have to know how your trip with your friend to Tailored Expressions went. I hope you'll let me know in that comment section below and thanks for sending in the cards. Karen C. from Virginia sent in six wonderful cards this month. She has used the August 2019, 2020, and 2021 sheet loads for her cards. One of my favorite parts and something she pointed out is a sentiment in the top center card. It says, from one stamper to another. What a wonderful sentiment to send a card to a fellow stamper. Thank you so much, Karen. Monica C. of Arizona sent in nine beautiful cards. The six on the left use July 2021, and the three on the front use the August 2021. Not only did she send in these beautiful cards, but I also got another one with a personal message that she had colored that cute image on the front. Thank you so much, Monica. And last but certainly not least was an envelope from Diane A. of California. She used the August 2021 sheet load of cards to create this adorable card, which I am loving that colored image on the front. And then she was also kind enough to send me these stamped sentiments on the left. I mentioned last month, I think it was, how I loved that sentiment on a card, and she sent me a whole bunch to use. I mean, isn't this the perfect sentiment? Is this not why we send out cards to everybody to hopefully make them smile? Thank you so much, Diane. Can you see why this is one of my favorite videos each month? I just love to see what everyone creates and the fun little notes. If you do enjoy this show us your sheet load slash happy mail video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until tomorrow, which is the new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.